funny if he's here, and I've just been back from the depths of EA games. So, I'll be reviewing today the DLC for Star Wars Battlefront. So, let's not waste any time, let's get right into the first expansion, the Death Star. So, the Death Star expansion. The Death Star expansion is pretty much a story of a new home, even going down running through the trench run at the end of the film. So, your job is to fight off the Imperial Star Destroyers by protecting the Death Star, get your Rebel transports onto it, get R2 off the Death Star, and then make the trench run and blow it up through the thermal exhaust port. Which, yes, I know, is completely inconsistent, blah, 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 blah. Everyone's done that to death. So, let's talk about the new mode. The new mode is pretty much, it's just one new mode with a bunch of new characters. And that new mode is pretty much just the Death Star battle. So, which I just explained. And some, of the, and some of the new characters are Chewbacca and some other characters. But now let's move on to the Outer Rim expansion. So the Outer Rim expansion. The Outer Rim expansion only has one mode. It's pretty much secure the payload from Overwatch. And I've just summed it up that. You have to secure the payload before the Empire does. Get it to your Rebel transport so it can go wherever it needs to go. But it also has one new character, and that's a bounty hunter whose name I can't put place for the life of me. But now let's move on to the Cloud City expansion. So, the Cloud City expansion. The Cloud City expansion is the weakest of the three expansions, with no new modes but one new character, and that's the lovable scoundrel Lando Calrissian. But now for my personal favourite expansion, the Rogue One Scarif expansion. The Rogue One Scarab expansion is the best of the expansion, with two new characters, one new mode, and an entirely new planet to explore. You've got Jyn Erso and Director Krennic as the new characters. Scarab, the Imperial base, as the new planet, and an entirely new mode where you've got pretty much take place in the climactic battle of Star Wars Rogue One where you've got to fly the U-Wings past the Star Destroyers and TIE Fighters in order to get them to Scarif. Then you've got to blow up one of the cargo ships in order to distract the Imperials so you can steal the Death Star plans and get them back to the U-Wings. And now for the final rating. The DLC for Star Wars Battlefront is really good, much better than the base game. Game, And that's why the final rating for the Star Wars Battlefront DLC is a 9 out of 10. And I'll see you guys on the next fun reviews. Bye!